Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. Bentley and Albert are so excited to share with you some pet packing tips as they went to go visit their grandmother in Georgia this weekend. So let's jump right in. Okay friends, so the first thing that I like to do when packing for Bentley and Albert is to lay their things out into categories by their needs. And so the first need that we're going to talk about is sleeping. And this is basically putting everything they need to sleep while they're at grandma and grandpa's house. And so I did get new items because these are things that can stay at uh, my mom and dad's house. They had a beautiful line at At Home and Marshall's. I love the pet sections there. And one thing at home, they had like different categories where it was all matchy matchy, which you know I love. They had the pet bed that matched the pet bowls and the leashes and everything. It was really cute. And so I have a bed for Albert here. And then I also got another one in that denim color. Their whole theme for Grandma's house is that blue and white. But these were cute with the little pineapples on them so that um, Al Bentley could have his bed. Because Bentley, he's a little different than Albert with his sleep habits. Albert, he will just kind of lay down on the bed and he's good to go. Bentley, he likes to cover up. So he wants a blanket around him and he likes to snuggle up. So I definitely have his cozy blanket here. Again, keeping with that blue and white theme from him. And I just got this in the home section at Marshall's. Now the next thing is eating. That's the next need they have. And so in having that, I knew that one thing that I needed to get was a set of bowls for my mom's house. And so with the bowls, of course, one for each one of them because they are not going to eat out of the same bowl and one for their water, which they will share. And then I also found in At Home Again, this cute little mat that can go on the floor so that, you know, as they're eating and things, they don't spill anything. And it ran, the bowls ran around $7.99 at At Home. And I think the bat was like around four something, four-ish dollars. But I thought it was really cute, very durable. And I know that this would be perfect to keep their whole theme going. So one thing that Bentley and Albert are serious about are their treats. And so of course we had to have the little treat container here. Again, it keeps with the theme. Although it's just in that white color, the stripes on the side keeps with the theme of their bed and their bowls. And so this is where all of their little snacks will go. And I picked them up some specific snacks that I know they love that um, I can take to my mom and dad's house. So now that the eating is taken care of, you know the potty is gonna come next. And so making sure that they have all of their potty needs taken care of, um, especially going to someone else's house. And, you know, my mom is real laid back. She loves pets. And so she knows how to care for them. But I want to make sure that she had all of the essentials that she would need um, for these little pup pups here because I know how they roll. And so I gave her plenty of puppy pads, especially being in a different environment, making sure that um, she had those um, along with, I did put some um, wipes in here and also their little puppy bag here. And this right here is great because it can attach to their little uh, puppy backpack. And it has all of the waste bags on the inside. Again, it's the same theme as the bowl and as the bed and all of it coordinated and I thought that was really cute. Now, the category that is Bentley and Albert's favorite is the play. And so, of course, we have to take their toys. And so I didn't want to take an, uh, you know, a crazy amount of toys. I wanted to take specific things that I know they like playing with. So I did get a new toy bin because that way I can transport it. They have it to sit the toys in when at my mom's house and she kind of want to tuck things away. Of course, we had to include balls. Bentley's favorite toy are balls. He is obsessed and he just loves his balls. So I definitely included those. The little bones are for Albert. He loves to fetch with the little squeak toys and he loves things that make noise and then something for them to play tug of war. And now for Bentley and Albert's least favorite category, grooming. And so I kept it very simple because because she doesn't really need to do a lot with them. It's just for the weekend. I do want her to have some shampoo and conditioner just in case uh, some type of incident come up where she needs to, to bathe them. And then pet wipes. Um, but it really, I don't feel like she would actually need it. But I wanted her to have it in case. Along with a brush to brush their coat. And I got this little bag from for a couple dollars at Hobby Lobby. And so it's great to store that. And then another little bin, uh, not bin, another little linen bag from Hobby Lobby also for their little t-shirt. And then the next category is documents, having all of your pet documents in a manner that you can travel with it. And so that's so important for me with my parents so that in case they have an accident, they have their pet insurance information, they have um, all of the little tidbits of how Bentley and their kind of inner workings of how they are, you know, eat times, their schedules, um, also rabies vaccinations, all the information for that, all of all of the things that relate to them. And I'm going to do a separate video on my pet organizer or pet planner rather. So definitely stay tuned for that. And so that is just 
important to have all of those documents there. So friends, I hope you've enjoyed seeing Bentley and Albert's Travel Essentials for Grandma House. Definitely, if you're not subscribed, we would love you as a part of the Bentley and Albert family. We hope you all are doing great. We will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki, Bentley, and Albert saying goodbye.